Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. And in this video, we are basically going to revise our API testing interview question and answers. And if you are someone who is basically is preparing for API testing interview, please make sure you watch the videos till the end because I'm covering lots of lots of different important concepts. And after watching this video series, right, I don't think you will face other different uh, API related uh, question in your interview. All right, so I'm trying to cover maximum questions in this series. Okay, so let's get started. Awesome. Let me make myself a little smaller. Uh, so this is a series guys, API testing interview series and answered. Uh, I have already done the uh, same video in the past where we have like three, four parts available. You can watch first also. And uh, now in this video, we will basically go through maximum question, right? And we'll basically go through by iPad sessions. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I marker is working. So uh, very, very, uh, so let's jump into the first question, which is basically what exactly is the API, right? I'm just marking it as a green, right? What exactly is this API, right? Uh, very interesting question and very silly question. Most of the people will ask you and I'm going to give you like how you can give the exam, how you can basically uh, give, let me do one thing. Yeah, let me do here, right? Uh, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, awesome. Oh, perfect. Right. How you can give this answer of this question. So someone asks you, right, okay, promote, uh, what is API? So you, what you need to do, tell them is, first of all, uh, people forget to tell the full form of the API, which is really, really strange. You have to give the full form, right? Uh, which is application programming interface. And uh, whenever I ask uh, this, okay, uh, what do you understand by API? And they just say that API is nothing but a intermediary layer. It's an interface between, uh, it basically allow in to communication, but they don't tell the full form of it. So please make sure uh, as a QA fresher, you need to pay attention here that you need to tell the full form first, right? Full form. Uh, so here, if you see the full form is already available, which is application programming interface, right? And pay attention to this word, which is called as interface. Interface is nothing but a medium, which basically allow two different application, like application one and application two to communicate with each other. Okay. So suppose very simple example that I have already told you, right? Uh, it's a really, really example that I have prepared and right now it's available over the internet and it's based nothing but, uh, which, uh, where you are here, right? You are basically, basically, you are going to a restaurant and you are basically telling that, okay, I want biryani, right? To the waiter and waiter will basically go to the chef and chef will basically uh, prepare a biryani for you and it will go back and you can directly and you can eat and enjoy that biryani, right? And this waiter is basically, suppose there is a language barrier. You only speak Hindi and you are going to Bangalore, but this person is Hyderabad or uh, from Kerala and he's not able to say uh, anything in Hindi. So you are no, no direct connection, right? So now there is a waiter who, who's a, who's like Bangalorean and he can understand Hindi. Uh, this is just an example guys. Uh, and he can basically able to communicate and uh, give you the contact. So this is the API. Now uh, in the interview also, you can explain the same concept. You can explain the same diagram. This is really important. Okay. Uh, points to remember API can be in operating system and other things also. So now people say uh, APIs are only available on the web web or internet right no it's not true even the computer that you guys are using the communication between software and hardware and hardware to hardware they are using apis so apis are nothing but set of functions instructions uh, they can be procedures so set they are set of set of functions they are functions they can be procedures they can be rules so it's a different one. Okay. So a software to hardware communication is also there. Okay. So it's really, really different to understand that API can be in an operating system also. But what about the APIs that you guys are using? For example, you are, you have seen the API, for example, Instagram API, Facebook API, LinkedIn API, Twitter API, right? Sky Scanner API, Make My Trip API all these API, right? Traveling agencies API. What is this? That actually that you are seeing is nothing but a web service, which you need to understand. And we'll, I'm going to give you the example here. What exactly is a web service? Web service is little different from the API. Web service is actually a subset of an API. So if suppose API is a bigger bucket, 
right this is bigger bucket and api so this is this part only this part is web service okay then that you can give an example cool now let's understand is question number two which is uh, what is a web service this is really really important question and trust me people will ask you this question anyhow i usually ask this uh, web services is nothing but these are the service available over the web web right www which is world wide web right it these are nothing but the apis these are nothing but avi which are api available over the web that's it over the internet you can say if they are available over the internet if any api available over the internet it's a web service if that's it very simple example right very simple web service works in over the internet like uh, they use http http is nothing but a protocol to transfer the messages from the client to server right uh, first of all let's let me give you a very simple example so please understand this is very very important there is a client there is a server right if they want to communicate uh, client basically do a request uh, server uh, clients uh, this is a request and this is a response server gives you a response that's it for example client client say give me 2 plus 2 server will say 4 simple example okay so now uh, the protocol that client to server is basically http here which i basically have given you okay now uh, in web services you will see that there is no ui which is really really important and i have explained you that okay it generally api is a bigger bucket and if it is over the internet this part is internet uh, pre this api is present or over the internet we call it web services web services can be so pressed and exp i think you have heard this term which is rest this is really really important uh, rest and people will ask question related to the rest and they ask about soap also so we'll cover the difference also in the video okay and this concept i was uh, basically talking about you have a client Uh, generally that client that you have seen is browser that you, even the browser that you guys are using to watch the video right it is nothing but it basically making a request to a youtube servers youtube servers here are the youtube servers which are basically giving you the all the web pages they can basically reply in html page file formats text files media files right all these are supported by http that's why you are able to see right now it's replying you in the html format and the video format streaming right media it's basically providing you a media that you are streaming right now right so that's the response that you are getting from the youtube server you are requesting a video which is my video right so that's the concept okay and all the middlemans that you see here are nothing but the apis okay cool why we need web services very traditional question and people will ask you this right uh, wh what is the need of a web, uh, web service okay very easy it's less expensive it's very lightweight uh, it's very less expensive easy to update and maintain the records using web services because uh, client is able to communicate with server using apis apis are nothing but set of functions right instead of sending the full payload or something i mean full html page and other things it, it is just sending you some silly well, not silly very smart smart payloads right and that payload can update the server as well as maintain it so it's less expensive in nature right it's a secure of course we are using uh, different http method like post and other things which are little secure it supports multiple language so client can be in java server can be in dot net they can communicate using api so multiple language support is there make sense awesome this is covered uh, web services follow the standards like they are basically following a standard like uh, soap base uh, mostly follow xmls and you will see wc uh, wsdl which is uh, uh, there is a separate uh, descriptive language right that you can see uddi and stpps these all falls under the stpps and all so they follow the proper standard standards i mean to say right example of serv uh, web services which is important you need to understand and i have given you this example many times uh for example if you want to travel to suppose uh uh istanbul right suppose you are traveling from new delhi to install but you are using a sky scanner application sky scanner basically it's a, uh, you have entered the from from date enter date and you are basically selected go i want and what will happen this application will make a api request to a different servers for example it can make to indi indigo airlines 
ఎత్తిహాద్ ఎయిర్లైన్స్ ఎయిర్ ఏషియా ఎయిర్ ఇండియా రైట్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఎయిర్లైన్స్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ దేర్ బ్యాక్ ఎండ్ ఇస్ ఇన్ పిహెచ్పి ఏఎస్పి డాట్ నైట్ నోట్ జేఎస్ పైథన్ దే హ్యావ్ ఎ డిఫరెంట్ బ్యాక్ ఎండ్స్ నౌ దే ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు కామ్యూనికేట్ విత్ ద సింగిల్ దిస్ జా జేఎస్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ బేస్ ఎస్టీఎంఎల్ బేస్ దిస్ జేఎస్ ఎస్టీఎంఎల్ పేజ్ హౌ దే ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు కామ్యూనికేట్ యూజింగ్ ది వెబ్ సర్వీసెస్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ బేసిక్లీ కామ్యూనికేటింగ్ దెమ్ యూజింగ్ right suppose they are using json behind the scene right now to communicate and they are using basically using apis in this case so all the apis are available and they can communicate so all the updated prices that you are seeing here make sense cool okay so this is actually the web services because we are using apis over internet and that is web services even indigo made in uh, php can communicate with the apis uh, with the js i mean this is suppose a java web application really strange right supports multiple language that's why web services are awesome right uh, sky scanner uh, json payload it basically sends a json payload to the indigo's api php they were able to understand they will give you a reply back as a json response and that json response that you are seeing here right what are the indigo airlines available and you are basically going to book it and when you book it indigo will book it and make a record here maintain that record send you a ticket that's it right so we have used a web services extensively in this case cool 